Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm going to show you how you can print multiple photos on one 4x6. First thing I'm going to do is create a new blank file. I'm going to change it to 4x6 inches at 300 dpi. Then I'm going to save my work. So now that I've got my canvas, I want to define the areas that the photos will go into. I'm going to draw a square or rectangle for each photo. I want one 3x4 and two 2x3 two photos on this 4x6 canvas. So I'm going to create a new guide. Is to show, is to go to view and then new guide. I want a horizontal guide at the three inch mark. View, new guide. I also want a, so now I go to view, snap to, guides, and then I take my rectangle tool and draw a shape. Just resizing it to make sure that it covers a whole area. Now I'm just going to use another color for my next shape. Grab my rectangle tool, click and drag to create a 2 by 3 shape, and then rectangle tool again, click and drag to create another shape change the color here so I can see that it's different. Change this one to a bit of a nicer color here. You go. So we've got three photo areas. Just make sure that they're covering up the whole area that we want our photo so there won't be any white gaps. Now it's just a matter of clicking on the shape that I want to fill with photo clicking and dragging on my photo. Now my photo is too big for this space so it's just a matter of taking the corner and dragging it until it fits. Now this photo is vertical and I need it to be horizontal to sit in this spot so I'm going to change the rotation to 90 degrees and then keep working. I'm not going to click the commit button because then that throws away all the excess pixels. Now I've finalized everything, I'll click the green commit. Now I do the same thing for the other shapes. Click on the shape I want to fill, drag on my photograph, and then press Ctrl G to clip my photo to that shape. And move it around inside the frame until you're happy with how it looks. When I'm happy, press Enter. And because I want to have this third photo the same as the second one, I'm just going to click on that second layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate it, then drag it up so that it's on top of the blue layer, then click and drag it over, press Ctrl G to clip it, and then just finalize exactly how I want my prints to turn out. And now if I print my photo, I'll get three pictures on that 4x6. I can then turn off the guides and see how it looks. And now it's just a matter of printing it. Go to File, Print to print it at home. Or if you're sending it to a commercial printer, you go to File, Save As, and then select JPEG 
Make sure that you have it at maximum f file size, large file size, and maximum quality. Click OK. And then you upload that JPEG file to Shutterfly or wherever you're getting your prints. So there you have it. An easy way to make custom sizes on a 4x6 print. Of course, you could do this with any size of print. Just specify your size when you do new blank file. And you could do a 5x7 or 12x12 12 12 or whatever suits you. A flexible way to get multiple photos onto one photo even if your printer doesn't support smaller sizes. Great for project life. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements, head over to digitalscrapbooking.com. I'd love to see you there.